Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I have a very interesting video for you. We're in the middle of winter, but we, this is a gardening video. This video, I'm going to give you my top 12 essential things that you need to be a beginner gardener or even maybe an experienced gardener and you just want to corral everything down. Stay tuned to the very end of the video because that 12th thing that I'm going to tell you about is super cheap affordable and every gardener should have it in her gardening apron or coat or pocket, you name it. So let's get started with my number one essential. Okay, so the first thing you need is kind of a, our partners in crime. Um, I didn't think I needed these as a beginner gardener and then I realized that I think I do need these things. This is actually to um, put your bulbs in the soil so it, Actually, you put it into the soil, it makes that perfect little ball hole, and then you can drop your tulip bulbs or any of the other bulbs. So this is handy. This is actually something that I found at a secondhand store. So you can do that very inexpensively on a budget. You can find things at garage sales too. They might be a little dingy like this one, but I'm gonna show you at the end how to clean some of these before the season begins. The next thing is, they call this a dibbler. I'm not really sure why. I don't know the reasoning behind it or the history, but if you notice on there, I'll bring it a little closer. There's little inches and marks on here, and I didn't think I need this at first, but in the ground, it's nice to know if you have to go an inch deep or two inches deep or a half an inch deep, and this is kind of nice because you can, when you make that row to sow your seeds or put your plants in, you can know if it's in the centimeters, inches, and then on the back it has it too as well, inches and centimeters and all that too. So you can dig like a little hole and then put your little seeds in or your little plants so you know exactly how far you're going into the ground. Okay, the next thing you need, and it's not necessarily for like larger plots of gardening, like if you have a vegetable garden, but your small little plants and your small little flowers that you're growing outside or some of your patio things is a watering can. I have a couple different sizes. I have ones with a longer neck. I have ones with a shorter neck. I have ones that have... Um, where it sprinkles out like rain. These are nice to have because you can get into those hanging baskets and little things like that. So make sure you have a couple different watering cans on um, your homestead and available to you. The next thing that you're going to need, and I actually had to replace this, is a trowel. Okay, so you asked why a trowel is important. These are nice because as you can see, look at the little point there. This is nice because you can get into that soil and dig in it and dig around some maybe roots or clean up a different area. These are great for that because some of the other little hand shovels are just not going to do its job. And I like this brand and I really like a strong, colorful grip. You should look for things that have like color on it or tie like colorful strings on it. Because if you're like me and you lose things in the garden, it's nice to be able to spot it with the bright orange or bright red or some type of ribbon of that sort. Okay, I wanted to tell you that you can head over to the Dollar Tree and they have those dibblers I was referring to and the trowels here for $1.25. So this one is pretty sturdy and you can see right here, I'll give a close up. You can see the numbers on there so you know how far to go in. And they have them in pink and purple handles, so they're very colorful so you can see them from afar if you lose them in the garden. I'm going to grab this minty green one as an extra. You can never have too many garden tools, right? Very expensive. Also, I love these plant clips for my tomato plants and any little scraggly plants in the garden. Make sure you stack up on these if you're at your local Dollar Tree because these are great. And for $1.25, you can't beat it. And there's 20 of them. And I found gardening gloves, so inexpensive, and these are pretty durable too. Also in the hardware section, they have jute twine that is a garden staple and a must. So make sure you pick up some of this from the Dollar Tree. Okay, now my next essential is scissors. You need a couple different pairs of gardening scissors, 
And the reason I say that you do is you need a pair that you can cut like um, twine and um, some thin wiring and things like that to help um, put your tomato plant or to trellis some of your cucumbers and things like that. Then you also need like some smaller scissors or some type of pruning scissors that you can actually prune some branches back like on your fruit trees or even cut some fresh flowers or even cut some of your vegetables without damaging the stem of the actual plant. So I would invest in just a couple different pairs and then keep that in your garden caddy before um, our spring planting begins. So you have them, they're ready to go and um, nice and sharpened and cleaned and ready to go. Okay, our next essential is some gardening forks. Um, these are small. This one has um, a three. This is a little bit of an older one, three um, prongs. And this one has three prongs, but it's more of like a claw. And this, these both, this one I got at a secondhand store. This one I picked up at a garage sale. They're both very durable, very, very sturdy. But this is great so you can clean up around maybe a root system or some type of um, stem that's growing from the ground. You can clean around it. You can turn the soil, you can um, add fertilizer and then um, mulch or wood chips, leaves, things like that. You can kind of get in those delicate areas or hard to get areas. So I do like um, a good sturdy one of these. They do sell this with a longer handle. I just haven't really found great use for it. Usually when I have to get into a delicate or hard to reach area, I literally have to get down in there and a smaller one's gonna be more beneficial when doing that. Okay, I'm not really sure why I haven't made this my number one, number one thing, but gardening gloves. You can see these ones are a little bit more worn. I picked these up from the Dollar Tree last year and they're still in pretty good shape. I just run them through um, the washing machine every so often. And I actually, as you know, because I inserted that video, is I picked up um another pair these are really pretty with this minty green color but these are great because a sometimes there's little fire ants and this will protect you from them um if you have a manicure or if you don't want to get your hands dirty scratched up scrape it protects your hands also too it's really nice when you're working with gardening tools sometimes it can put wear and tear on your hands so it's great to have a good pair of gardening gloves for that i am notorious for not wearing gardening gloves gloves even in the house because i i for some reason I just like my hands touching things and um, I feel like I'm getting into it better and a better feel, but I have learned that these are very important, especially a couple years back I broke out. I was broke out from something, I, I don't know what it was in the garden, but basically my whole arm was um, um, broken out. It, I had an allergic reaction to something, we are not really sure what, but I think if I would have wore the gloves, it would have helped. So a good pair of gardening gloves. And like I said, you can pick them up fairly inexpensive. I usually pick up three pair, two to three pairs per season just because um, I either A, lose them or I can't find them or I just, they're so beat up, they have to be trashed. Okay, my next essential is gardening labels. I've seen people and I even have used them myself, popsicle sticks. Um, I have bought little cutesy ones and things like that. But all you need is a basic labeling um, stick. And these are also, again, from the Dollar Tree, just like I showed you in the video. They're there right now, so you probably want to check your Dollar Tree um, and pick up. But these are great because my mother-in-law has actually made labels and put them on there with her label maker, which is great because it'll um, withstand all weather. Or you can just use a Sharpie. Um, the only problem with the Sharpie is I found out last year is after so much rain, it kind of, it will come off. So just check, but um, check back and rewrite if you need to. But it's great because you got a label. There's been many times where I've planted things and I'm just confused at what I planted. And if I don't have this with me in my garden caddy, it's really hard for me to figure out in the beginning what is what until it starts really fully growing. So label everything, make sure you have a handful of labels, if they're gonna be popsicle sticks or these little cheap ones that you can get at the Dollar Tree. That is an essential for your gardening this year. 
Okay, so the next essential you need is probably gathering baskets of sorts or anything to corral your gardening tools. So I have a couple different baskets that literally these are all from secondhand stores that I've picked up, I guess across the country because I picked up this one, I'm pretty sure, out in um, Wisconsin and picked up one in Georgia. But yeah, these just make really great, great things that you need if you are new to gardening, a beginning gardener. Hello ladies. Are you here learning about all of my gardening tips? Yes, we'll talk about you very soon. <laughs> okay, to go along with the baskets is I, you need a good pail to um, store some soil to store fertilizer to store anything in there so just a good handy dandy bucket is extremely essential if you're a new gardener okay i'm taking you in the garden shed but apparently because i'm talking and i'm outdoors i have a lot of adoring fans that are following me so if you hear them in the background i do apologize but they are a part of the farm Okay, so the next thing I wanted to, we're actually in one of the garages, so um, I just wanted to show you a couple things that I store outdoors, um, not really close by. I do use it in the garden is my rake that I have right there. It's a metal rake that I find very essential um, for gardening. I use both ends of it. Basically, I use this side and then I flip it around and use the other side to spread like mulch and soil and compost, you name it. A good hoe is also something you need. Yes, these are a little dingy and I'm going to show you some tips if you stick around to the end of the video of how I clean these um, through the seasons and maintain them. So those are two very, two very essential. These are just two different styles of hoe, hoes and um, I've picked these up at, like one I did buy years ago, and then the other one, if I see them at garage sales, flea markets, secondhand stores, I'm picking those up. So look around, you know, right now while you're shopping at secondhand stores. Okay, this is one of our newer shovels, but um, you do need a strong, heavy duty shovel. I believe they call this a spade. Um, this is great because you can dig holes um, for your trees. You can dig holes for your bushes or any of your larger plants um, that you need to put in the ground or even transplanting. So make sure you pick up that too before the season begins because this is extremely essential. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and clean our tools. So I'm just gonna get some hot soapy water. I'm just using a little bit of dish soap. You can clean with baking soda and vinegar too as well. And then you're going to want a little scrub brush or a wire brush of sorts so you can clean all the debris that's caked on. I'm gonna go ahead and add my tools to the soapy water. Now, this tool has um, wood on the handle, so I don't want to soak this for too long just because, you know, wood and water do not get along. Okay, I'm just using an old dingy scrub brush that I've used for my dishes years ago, and then it just got really beat up, and I just use it now for yucky things. So I'm going to go ahead, clean all the dirt and the debris, give it a good rinse, and then I'm going to let them dry. Clean all the handles, and then everything will be ready to go for the season. You can do this to your larger tools too as well. You obviously need bigger um, water, um, bigger water tubs. So you can always use like your bathtub or a large laundry tub. Okay, I'm gonna give these a good rinse. This is pretty good. Get these dry. And I'm going to store them for the season. When the season begins, they're going to be ready to go. Okay, so I'm not really sure what's happening. I have a lot of visitors here with me to give you my last and final tool that you need this gardening season. Okay, so my last garden essential. I find it to be so important. I keep this with me at all times. Um, it is extremely helpful for tying up 
um, vines, plants, putting things together is just basic twine. And like I said, if you um, watch my Dollar Tree here a little bit ago, I found this twine at the Dollar Tree in the hardware section. And it's great because like I said, if I have tomato plants that are kind of going yeah, this way, I just tie it up to the cages. If I have any vines for cucumbers or melons that I want to kind of force to go upward a particular trellis or something this is great so this is my number one thing that you need today to put in your garden tool bag bucket whatever you want to call it for gardening this season so get some of that i do want to also tell you about these clips these are great um these are also from the dollar tree um, they're great for the same thing um, if you don't want to use twine or if you have more delicate vines. So make sure you pick up these. Okay, so my little friend, um, <laughs> like she said, if you don't want to miss any videos from me, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to like this video if you want me to do more gardening videos here in the future. Um, as always, I'm here to create a healthier, simpler homestead um, life for you on a budget. I'll talk to you guys real soon.